morning you guys welcome back to my channel today this well this morning I wanted to share with you guys the um, health drink that me and my son Isaac have each morning and my husband just with a little variation but um, I wanted to share with you guys what we drink every morning and it is 7:53. so we usually have this drink around 7 8 in the morning and so these are all just the things that that my morning drink consists of and I have MCT oil which this one's actually um, it's like the MCT 8 or whatever it's a little bit more refined than the MCT oil and I'll be going back and talking about these ingredients individually because my son really wants me to make um, this drink already because he's hungry and so uh, I don't have too much time to talk about it right this second but I have MCT oil I have xylitol I like to use xylitol as my sweetener um, I have Kerrygold butter and this is the unsalted Kerrygold and this is usually how it comes um, they have they just recently have um, came out with the, the smaller stick ones the half um, and so you can get those two now, but this is the one that we've been getting for a while. Your almond milk just kind of depends on what, uh, brand you like. I like the almond breeze better than the silk and I always get the unsweetened and usually I get the vanilla, but they only had the original, uh, when I went to Walmart yesterday and so I got the original, but I also use the Aldi brand. We buy a lot of our food from Aldi and Aldi sells a... Um, almond milk that's unsweetened so I always get the unsweetened and me and Isaac do the this cocoa powder so it's like a kind of like a like a hot chocolate drink in the morning but it's healthy and we use this from Amazon which is the um, it's organic cocoa powder um, that's all it is it's just cocoa powder but it's organic and I really like this one that's the one that we've been using for a little while now um, and so that's, that's what our drink's going to consist of. And I can show you, I'll show you just real quick how I make it. So I use just like a regular serve, self, like one serving blender thing. Um, and usually I do the one drink actually for both of us. I just heat up our, our milk in the microwave, but. Um, I do like a like a one mug, full mug of milk, but that's for both me and my son. And then we end up getting about seven to eight ounces each. And so this is just about how much butter I use, which if you go by the amount on here, um, it's probably about two tablespoons is what I use of butter. And so just put that in there. I use a tablespoon um, for my husband I use two tablespoons of MCT oil for me and Isaac I use one um, if I use a little bit more than that well right now that I am pregnant it um, causes a little bit of discomfort in my stomach and so I just use the one and that's perfectly fine and for xylitol, I use the granulated xylitol, and I use three. I use three teaspoons. I actually have the measuring uh, spoon in there. And I use three of these. And that is the perfect amount for us. And then for the cocoa powder, I use, and this one just all depends on how you like it. I use about one whole tablespoon probably just like a half of another one put all of that together and let me pour in this milk so there we go and this all has to get blended because if you just stir it it's just no good right so you give me a second we got our morning drink And so that's just, I mean, it just looks like, like hot chocolate, you know, it's, it tastes like hot chocolate and it's, um, 
It's healthy and it's got a lot of fats. And so that is what we have. That's what we have in the morning. So we drink this pretty much every morning and we don't really change it up very much. Um, sometimes I use almond milk, sometimes I use water. And so really mostly I use water whenever um, I run out of almond milk and I forget to go get more. But it tastes good either way. I think that the almond milk makes it a little bit more uh, filling. And a lot of times with these MCT oils, you get a little bit of like a burning um, like sensation, discomfort um, in your stomach. And doing it with the almond milk definitely helps me with that. It, it, I don't feel that, but if I do it with the water, um, I can feel it burning a little bit and um, MCT oil tends to do that um, with some people and so which is also why I only do the one tablespoon instead of the two that I usually do for my husband and so me and Isaac drink this every morning we usually drink it around 7 30 or 8 in the morning and then we don't actually eat anything until about 11 30 or 12 and we both do I mean really fine Isaac is getting to that point where um, well he's two and he knows how to how to go ask for food and he knows where the fridge is and the, that there's food in there and he wants some and so he knows how to ask for food whenever he's hungry and he he does and he plays and he has a good time or whatever until usually around 11 30 or 12 um he starts asking for food and so so it, i mean we go three four hours without eating and we're perfectly fine and so the health drink this this health drink that we do in the morning um, consists of a lot of fats and so one of the first the main fats that we use is the butter and this is the butter that we use the carry gold it's um it's grass-fed butter and so there's a lot of things that go a lot of reasoning behind using grass-fed butter as opposed to regular butter. Grass-fed butter is just healthier for you. It's good for you. Um, I don't want to go into all of the reasons just because I don't really know how to explain it to you guys well enough yet. But this is the butter that we use. We use the unsalted one. And like I said before, we use about two tablespoons. Um, for the whole drink for both of us. You could still use two tablespoons just for one drink for yourself. Um, it'll be more satiating, um, and especially if you have to like go to work where you can't just fix yourself something, um, doing the two tablespoons will keep you satiated longer, will keep you full longer. So, I mean, you could do as much or as little as you want. All of this is just as much or as little as you want to do. Um, that's just what I do, what I've been doing. And so I use the Kerry Gold Butter. And then for the MCT oils, um, I showed you guys we were using this one, the Mickey T8. And uh, we, we just ran out of this one. And so I had ordered a, another one. And all of this idea came from... Um, Dave Asprey and my husband used to work for FedEx Ground and he used to listen to a lot of audiobooks and he used to listen to a lot of podcasts when he was out delivering and so he started listening to um, the Bulletproof Radio I think is what it was called I'm actually not 100% sure but he started listening to Dave Asprey on podcasts and he started talking about the Bulletproof Coffee and so my husband went and wanted to try the Bulletproof coffee. Well, he tried, we used to drink coffee at that time, and we tried the Bulletproof coffee, and we liked it. We were drinking it for a while. Um, we actually, you're supposed to blend all the, the, the butter and the oils and everything. You're supposed to blend it in a blender, and we were actually drinking it just by stirring it. And we thought it was fine. So once you actually blend it in a blender, it's a lot better. It's a lot smoother, um, especially if you're using um, his products. His products are 
are get lab tested for mold and he's just all like about mold and toxins and all that we love dave asprey we uh follow dave asprey we've been following him for about i would say three four years um he's got a ton of good information for you guys if you guys want to look him up and read all, i mean all of this stuff is in there like why mct oil is good and and why doing the um grass-fed butter and and the natural sweeteners all of that all of that information is out there and um that's where we got a lot of our information and so so but we actually just bought this one which is his product which is the one that he sells we actually hadn't ever used it before we were always just ordering mct oils from uh amazon and we tried a different kind of mct oils and finally we ordered this one because um the prices have changed and so um we wanted to give this one a try and so we actually haven't opened it yet we haven't tried it yet because we just ran out of the other one but we're gonna give this one a try and um and so with the mct oil you can put your mct oil in anything you can put it on um like you can make your own salad dressing and add mct oil uh, you can put MCT oil just like in your steamed vegetables or uh, on your fish, like if you're cooking salmon or whatever. You can put MCT oil in anything and everything. It's a little bit hard to do it in cold drinks, but in hot drinks, any kind of drink that you do, um, you can put MCT oil in it and it'll be good for you. It's good for your skin. It's good for your brain. Your brain is um, functions um a lot on fats your brain uses a lot of fats and so in order for your brain to function well it needs a lot of fats and so it's good for your brain and moving on to the sweeteners i showed you guys that this is a sweetener that i use uh i've used different brands this is the Jero one um and it's granulated this one's it, it's granules um and this one I think is my favorite. There are three, four-ish. There's, um, so there's xylitol. This is the one that I like to use the most. There is one called urethritol. Let's see, there's this one. This one's confectioner style. So this one's powdered sugar. And this is the one that I use for baking. So it's like a big packet and I use this on, um, my frostings things like that i use um this confectioner style the powdered sweetener works better on cold drinks because it just dissolves really quick really easy so i use this on on drinks um to sweeten it drinks or tea or anything like that um there's urethritol that one's my second favorite i like that one the xylitol mostly tastes is the one that tastes the most like regular table sugar. Um, and I mean, urethritol is kind of the same. So both of those two are, are pretty much kind of like table sugar. They taste like table sugar. And they're natural sweeteners. Those don't affect you at all. And then there's the stevia one, right? So we got this one from Costco. Um, there's stevia kind and so there's like this kind we also use like this kind we get this one at aldi and it comes in like the little packages um the steve the other stevia one comes in a little package like this and so my husband actually likes stevia well enough i don't like stevia i hate stevia i hate the taste of it um i just hate the after like the taste the aftertaste and like i said before i think i have like a um like a mild allergy to it it like every time i drink it it kind of like tickles my throat it makes me want to have to like clear my throat so i just don't i just don't do stevia but my son will take stevia my husband will do stevia and so these are the sweeteners um that we use um i know there's quite a few people who don't really like the the stevia and their stevia blends like this one is actually um, a stevia blend. This uh, sweetener has urethritol and stevia. So it's mostly urethritol and then it has stevia. Um, that's really all the ingredients that, that this has. And so 
this one's a lot better. I, I sometimes use this one because this one's also powdered. And so I can use this in my drinks, in my cold drinks. So I'll, I'll be okay with this one because it's mostly urethritol with some stevia. So it's not too bad. But my husband really likes this one. Isaac, my son, I don't know if he really likes it, but he drinks it. So I use this one with my son. And then um, the cocoa powder. So we use organic um, cocoa powder. And this is for our drinks. So like I said, you can make your drink however you want. Um, my husband will take like a matcha drink with all these things except I do matcha powder in his drink instead of cocoa powder and um, matcha also has all of its whole own benefits you know and um, and he does water he doesn't I, I've used almond milk sometimes with him but mostly just water and so it's just like it's whatever you want to make your drink you can make you can make it coffee, do coffee with the MCT oil, with the grass-fed butter, with your favorite kind of sweetener. Um, you can do cocoa powder, you can do matcha powder, you can do teas, any kind of tea that you want to do. There's a yerba mate tea. Um, really, you can customize it however you want. And this can be your breakfast. This actually replaces your breakfast. So if you're doing this drink, um, ideally, you don't want to eat anything else with it and this is supposed to replace your breakfast and then you have your your lunch and so this is a keto drink um but i don't i don't do keto um especially not now pregnant i i don't do keto but it's still a health drink and it still eliminates you know breakfast and having all the carbs and sugar for breakfast and so even if you think that you might be eating like a healthy breakfast that has um, like fruits in it. Uh, fruit still has sugar, and sugar makes you hungry. Sugar makes you your body burns through sugar and carbs really fast, and then it tells your brain that it's hungry, that it needs more food because it ran out of the sugar and the carbs to burn. And your body burns fat a lot more effectively, like the grass-fed butter, like the MCT oil, um, or even eating like bacon. Um, your body burns through fat a lot more effectively than um, than carbs and sugar. And so me and Isaac, me and my husband, we try to not do any kind of sugar first thing in the morning. We do our healthy drink. Um, sometimes on like the weekends we'll have like eggs and bacon or you know kind of things like that, like, a, like food food. But um, like this, like with anything, it's all a start. I mean, it, it takes a while to get used to sometimes. You don't have to go all out. Just give it a try. See how you like it. Make it your way. Add as much or as little of any ingredients that you want. Um, but yeah, so this is what we actually drink every morning. And I actually, I don't get tired of it. I really don't. I like the way that it tastes. Um, Isaac loves the way that it tastes and so we drink it every morning and then we have lunch at like around 11 30 or 12 because then Isaac actually takes his nap at around 1 and so I'm glad I was able to share this with you guys oh and the almond milk um, almond milk I use I use the Aldi brand because like I said we shop at Aldi a lot right now and we go through stages where we shop at different stores for a, a, a while and then kind of change stores or whatever so right now we're shopping at Aldi a lot and I use their um, unsweetened almond milk you have to get the unsweetened almond milk because then it defeats the purpose because then regular almond milk still has added sugar and so whatever kind of almond milk you like um, just make sure it's unsweetened and there's like uh, almond breeze there's silk there's uh, I think Walmart actually has like a, a Walmart brand one now, but make sure it's unsweetened and just give it a try. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have had this before or what kind of special drinks you guys make, um, I might give it a try. Uh, I always like to try different things, um, especially health drinks, things like that. And so uh, whatever questions you guys might have, whatever things you guys um do just let me know comment below 
um, share your stories and your ideas with me. I always love um, hearing from you. And um, don't forget to like this video, to comment, um, and to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and do the notifications because I will be uploading a lot of videos about all of these things that uh, that I do all of my natural ways of living and this didn't just happen all overnight I mean I've collectively done these I mean added these things for about five years You know, it's taken me a while to make all these changes But I am starting to make videos on them and sharing with you guys all of the things that we do um, So make sure you hit those notifications so you're getting notified every time that I upload a video so you guys can can keep up with me and um, ask me questions and see all the other new stuff that we are doing so thank you guys so much um, I love sharing this information with you guys and uh, let me know what you guys think